this episode, we are going to be talking about teeth whitening, one of the more common cosmetic dental procedures that we have out there. And there is also quite a bit of confusion. And to be quite honest, a lot of confusion even amongst dentists, dental professionals, dental assistants, and whoever. Uh, So perhaps we'll be either shedding a lot of light on the subject or confusing the subject even further. And to be totally honest, it is a debatable subject. There are great products out there, uh, some more effective than others. And most importantly, because today's date uh, in June of 2015, if you're listening to this later, the product that I'm recommending today may not be the product I recommend later. So I figured that the best thing to do is explain the physics of it so that the products that are available uh, can be chosen based on the, the physical properties and, and what is happening. For the record right now, my best recommendation is a process called core whitening, K-O-R. So you can go ahead and Google that, figure out uh, what it's all about. But in a nutshell, and it's not a product as much as it is a method. And the reason I say that is there are many products on the market and a product can always be improved. Uh, the methods are generally constant. And so what I mean by that is there's three factors, three main factors when you're trying to whiten teeth. Uh, Gel concentration. All whitening processes are going to incorporate a gel of some sort. So it's the gel concentration. There's the frequency and the duration. So the gel concentration over the counter legally can only be 9% hydrogen peroxide. So if you're going to buy anything non-professional distributed, something at Walgreens or the, the CVS pharmacy, the most concentration is going to be 9%, no matter what, across the board. They may say other things that are a higher percent, but it's usually something that's going to be a carbamide peroxide that's going to break down into a hydrogen peroxide. So, But it stands to reason that something of higher concentration is going to work better. A 22% gel concentration is certainly going to work a lot better than a 5%. I think that's not controversial. Um, When you start getting above the 15% that most dentists are going to distribute for home use, I think because of the potential abuse and the damages and uh, collateral damage that can happen, most of the time they want to be supervised in the chair. And so you'll have some other products that are 35%, 45%, things like that. Probably not going to be something they're just going to be given to go home with. So, which is fine because there are times where you want to do some supervised procedures and other times you want some the, the benefit of the, the take home also frequency uh, that would be something along the lines of if you did something daily for a while it's certainly going to work a lot better than somebody that uh, did it once one time only uh, one time only at home one time only in a in an office um, I don't think personally that there's any in office procedure that is really worth the, the time and expense and the effort by itself and what I mean by that is the core whitening process does include, if you're using the, the top level core whitening, it does include uh, in-office procedures, something where we're going to paint on something to protect the gums and then do something in the, in the office supervised by the dentist. So the frequency, something a daily use versus one-time use or just a couple days. Two weeks is certainly going to be different than one week, and six weeks is certainly going to be different than two weeks. The frequency is, is a major factor. And the duration, certainly wearing something for an hour or 20 minutes once or once a day is not going to be as effective as something that's going to be while you sleep, eight hours every night. So I think if you've got something that works where you are doing it nightly for a number of weeks uh, with a high enough concentration, um, you're going to get a better result. Now, I also believe that the core trays, the, the method that the trays are created is far superior than what most offices are offering or what most offices are doing in the office to distribute. So if you see a tray offer in a coupon, say, come to our office at, for and get free whitening, you're pretty much going to get what you pay for. It's not going to be the highest uh, response. It's not going to work as well as the core with all of the details that that entails. So we always try to identify with patients in advance what their ultimate goals are. If a patient is just trying to get whiter, that's one thing. If they want their teeth to be as white as absolutely possible, then that's a completely different process than just whiter. 
And to be to- totally honest, I try to recommend for people to go ahead and if they just want white er, go spend the forty dollars at the drugstore and try the the non custom strips. And whatever you get is what you get, and I, and you should be happy with that. They they will make your teeth white er, and I don't think that's a bad thing. Um, but I have never had anybody do go for the whitest and use my core system that I use. That's not my system. That's the one that we use the most. I've never had anybody not happy with how the white their teeth became. No one's ever said, my teeth are too white. So identify your goal in advance. If you're trying to get as white as possible, then you need to find an office like mine that can do the core whitening system and uh, plan on it taking us some amount of time. You, we condition the teeth in the office before we give you the trays. So you're going to get an in-office procedure. Well, oftentimes we use Zoom as that conditioning just to get the, the ball rolling on the, the teeth. And then you have the, the trays for a period of time. We also offer uh, desensitizing agents, gels and, and swabs, different things to help mitigate any potential sensitivity. I will say all whitening systems have some level of sensitivity to contend with. Um, there's no way around it, but we can alleviate and mitigate that. We have different, several products out there to help with that. I hope this answers any questions you've got on teeth whitening. Feel free to contact me at, uh, at my office and uh, via email, via Facebook. My name's Lance Timmerman, uh, drtimmerman.com. Dr. Timmerman is known internationally with licenses in multiple states in the United States, plus Belgium and Dubai for cosmetic, implant, and sleep dentistry. With fellowships in the International Congress for Oral Implantology and the Academy of General Dentistry and a diplomat in the American Board of Dental Sleep Medicine, he is your dental expert. 